Hello and welcome to another edition of Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's video, we're going to look at one of the newer features inside of Google Docs, the Document Tabs feature. When you open up a brand new blank Google Doc, you may notice right here on the left margin of your document something that says Document Tabs and one tab or tab one, which is the default. You can create multiple tabs inside of one document, and this is very similar to having one browser window open with multiple tabs like I have here at the top. We've got my class link tab, my Google Drive tab, and then a couple Google documents right here, all in one browser. This works very similar inside of one Google Doc. So with my tab one right here, I'm gonna go ahead and add a heading into my document, and I'm gonna go ahead and type that in. I'm gonna highlight that, whatever it is that I typed, and I'm gonna come up here, and the default is normal text, but I can change it to a title, heading one, two, whatever it is I change it to, and I'll notice that I have this outline here at the bottom. I can hit enter, type my information, click highlight, select a heading, and we'll put it in the outline below. Now I can have normal text, just like this, that won't show up in the heading because it is considered normal text and not a heading, so therefore it doesn't appear in the outline. I can click on the uh, outline right here and it'll automatically move my cursor to the specific heading. I can also click on the tab options. I can add sub tabs. I can duplicate this original tab right here and I can also rename it. If I click on the three dots, I can copy a link to that specific tab. I can also hide the outline to collapse it, make it a little bit easier to navigate. Adding additional document tabs is as simple as clicking on the add tab icon and then I can start over and add additional tabs, as many as I need to for my specific task. Now for teachers, this might be helpful with lesson plans. I've created this example right here with multiple tabs, and for this example, I've got a welcome tab, and this is just like an alert for maybe my colleagues if I'm collaborating on writing a lesson plan, just some information on what the document tabs are in case they've not seen this video or they're not familiar with it. Then with the tabs below, I've got a tab for clear targets and standards, a section for my bell ringer and my set, guided practice, closure and assessment, and then resources and links. If you're a teacher, it would be a good idea to look at your team rubric and apply the information on creating good lesson plans to a document tab. It works very similar to just typing in a regular Google Doc. I've got links embedded, any kind of information I need for my lesson plan. Now I could also take an existing lesson plan and modify it. So right here I've got an existing lesson plan that I've had from years prior and what I've done is I've taken my titles inside of that lesson plan and changed them into headings and when I've done that inside of the tab it has created that outline right here. So inside of this Google Doc I've got multiple lesson plans in one Google Doc, separate pages, and I've created an outline or a table of contents so I can go back and forth between an old lesson plan. This would also be a good idea for students, and for this example I've created for students would be like a student uh, research paper. Now this is just an idea that doesn't have to be done like this, but I had an idea of how you could do student research inside of Google Docs with, and utilize these document tabs. You would have a start here tab, just like I did with that lesson plan, explaining to the students what this is. I'd have a tab for my rubric, and I've grabbed this rubric off the internet. Uh, topic, you can embed a video on how to say how to write a research essay for middle school, a place for the students to write down their thesis statement, and another place for them to collect articles and resources. This is up to the teacher how you design your research uh, activities with your students or whatever activity you want them to do. And this is just an idea I thought that would be helpful for you um, to get started using Google Documents with the tab feature. If you got any questions about Google Documents and document tabs, or any other technology related questions, please reach out to Instructional Technology and we'll be glad to help.